Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 12T and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through settings. So to get started, you want to open up your settings. Once you're in settings, select about phone and then choose factory reset. And here it will provide you with info that this process removes accounts, contacts, photos, videos, apps, backups, SD card data, no it doesn't, uh, and other uh, items on this device. Now to be honest, you only need to worry about the apps, uh, photos and videos, and contacts. Those are probably the only things that you should be worrying about. Uh, so to shorten this and clarify this, anything that you keep on the phone itself, not on the back, on the cloud or on your Google account, uh, if you want to keep it, do make a copy of it. If you don't, disregard this. From here, select Erase All Data. It gives you the option to back it up right now if you want to. To keep in mind, this is backing up the device to Xiaomi Cloud, which means you will be only able to restore this backup if you're restoring it to a Xiaomi phone and no other device or no other brand. But I don't want to back it up. I'm going to progress here by selecting Factory reset now does tell me all backups as stored on this device will be deleted permanent, uh, permanently, backups, imported items, and whatever. So basically, it removes everything. Let's select factory reset, and uh, here we have Xiaomi letting us know for the third time, uh, now blocking by uh, us by 10 seconds, that factory reset deletes all data. Like, I hope, I hope it does, but I hoped it wouldn't waste my 10 seconds. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's for the fourth time now that we get to know and have another 10 seconds of our life wasted that we never get back. Thanks Xiaomi, F off with this. Your customers, I assume, aren't the absolute biggest effing donkeys, so we don't need our time to be wasted right here, just do what we selected. But once you press on that OK button after the 20 seconds of your life that have been wasted, uh, the device will begin resetting. Now this process will take about 3 minutes maybe to finish up. And once it's completed, we'll be then presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you want. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.